This video will cover the touch move blunder between Sam Shankland and Robert Ofanishan on board four in the deciding match between Armenia and the USA, which then ordered in it in a loss to Sam Shankland and a draw to the US. This is the video that occurred. Sam Shankland anticipated Queen H1, but then Queen G2 was played, and in the anticipation of Queen um, H1, he touched his king to move away. And you can see in the video he's realizing his mistake that he moved the king. And he had to move the king to c1. I haven't pressed the clock yet, realizes a losing position, and resigns. So this is quite unfortunate for him touching the piece in anticipation of a different move. If we look at the, the chess side of things, not the really rules side of things, would be that he anticipated the queen moving to h1. And therefore he touched his king to move away. That did not happen. The queen must move to g2. He touched the king. And then of course he knew that he had to move the king. Can't move it to c2. And realized he had to move it to c1. And understanding the touch move rule, he realized that he's in a lost position. So what rules apply? Article 4 apply here, it's um, in the Arbiter's Manual 2022 and typically it's best to just read the whole article. So it's Article 4, the act of moving the pieces. 4.1 is saying each move must be played with one hand only, so that's not the issue. Then we come to 4.2.1. Only the player having the move may adjust one or more pieces on their squares, providing that he first expresses intention, for example saying adjust this is not the case yet it's not about adjusting then 4.2.2 .2, any other physical contact with the piece so it's any physical contact with the piece except for a clearly accidental contact so that's if he stumbled or fell over and knocked the pieces shall be considered to be intent so so he knew that it, it was intent to play there is also assistance um, giving a bit of a guideline saying according to this rule if a player has not said I adjust or something similar before touching a piece and touching the piece not accidental, the touch piece must be moved. Okay, so this was never an issue. He realized that he did touch the piece. It wasn't accidental and he had to move the piece. For clarity, just to for for educational purposes, let's just look at the rest of the act as well quickly. Just 4.3, it's saying that except as provided in Article 4.2, if the player having the move touches on the chessboard with the intention of moving or capturing one or more of his own pieces, he must move the first piece touched. But be it, it was the piece he touched anyway. So he had moved the king. One or more of his opponent's pieces, while well, he didn't touch one of the opponent's pieces. And therefore, it, it, it just want to show you the rest of the article. I hope you enjoyed this example of a touch move coming into play. In this case, the chess article 4.2.2 was quite straightforward. It was clear intent to play the move. It wasn't accidental, and the player also conceded it. And then... Uh, to move the bees. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. And please like this. Please subscribe. And I'll have more content coming your way.